Hello, good drone lovers out here. I'm out here with my little anemometer device. Now, the reason I need this as a drone pilot because it can tell you the accurate wind speed. You know, if you're looking at one of them apps, the wind speed may not be the actual wind speed right there. It may not be the actual wind speed. And here's your proof. Close the app. Then open it five minutes later. You're going to see the app giving you the exact same wind speed. So it's giving you the wind speed, not that spot, but probably the area that you're in. And you see my anemometer, if you can see it, it's rolling right now. Now the reason I got this particular anemometer, and I'm going to give you the name of the company that make it. I think it's here, Acevos. I'm going to put the name on, on in the description when you read about it. Acevos anemometer. The reason I got this anemometer compared to others is, most anemometers, they had the little device right here. And then when you want to get the wind speed, you got to hold it up. What I like about this thing right here, you see right here, you see them both together. I got the device in my hand, and then I can take this out and hold this thing about roughly a meter away from me, and you see it's working right now. When I have it close, the wind is stopped. When I hold it up for the actual wind, it's blowing, and you see it's moving. It's moving. Might be not fast, but you can see it's moving. It's slowing down right now. Now it's picking up again, and you see the dial has changed. That's why I got it. I bring it down to my level. Is there a different speed compared to a meter away from me? And, and this the reason, or better yet, I learned, for me, I don't deal with all these special, it got a lot of different features. If you read about anything, my anemometer, it got a lot of different features where you can change, for instance, the unit, miles per hour, kilometer per hour. But I like to keep miles on meters per second because I can, I know how long a meter look. It's hard for me to imagine a mile, that's huge. It's hard for me to imagine a kilometer. But in my head, I know a meter is like my arm's length, like that. That's a meter. So, now, I heard about drones, for the most part, like it's a mini drone, etc. It's best to have it going at, it's max wind speed is like 10 meters a second. 10 meters a second. And since I had this little bad boy, when I'm driving, or my, my wife driving the car, I just be in the car and I just stick this out the window while she's driving and the thing keeps, it, it be moving. And I know when I get to that 10 meters per second threshold because it start buzzing. So, it start buzzing and you know, it, be, make, it make a buzzing sound. So I know that's uh, 10 meters a second. So, I gave you all my name of this. I like it because it has this extension part on here. When I hold it up for me, it's, it's moving fast now. I bring it in, it's moving slow. And you know, if I have it, if I have to extend it away from me, if I have to extend it away from me and I bring it back, the wind speed has changed. So, I hope you like this little video. I hope you get this anemometer. And happy drone flying.